We now just need water for the sea dragon for that matter. Mubalin and the dragon of Iska. Which we don't know who that is or where it's at exactly. I assume it has to do with that thing. I'm not sure. Uh, we're gonna go talk to Ciarius. See if he can maybe help tell us something. At all. I assume you were able to make rounds and meet the dragons. I just finished investigating the ancient records as well. Would you mind giving me a comprehensive account of what happened in the sanctums? Sure. Blah, 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 blah. I see. The wind of destruction in the end of Otago, as I thought. A great calamity approaches us. Yeah, the dragons warned us about it. But none of them would tell us anything concrete on what to do. We did receive stones from them, however. And based on what they told us, we are to collect them all. I see. So you returned here to check in before heading to the Sea Sanctum, then? Hmm. As I mentioned before, the location of the Moon Sanctum is unknown. I searched the records for any hints, but to no avail. The very first altar you found in the ancient shrine was a temporary one, built to house the energy of the Moon. I believe it to be linked with the real altar hidden Simply put, you're saying there isn't anything we know for sure about the altar to the moon dragon, correct? So I guess our next move is the sea site. Yes, it should be accessible from the altar on Ruins Island. However, the problem remains that it's off limits to all citizens by order of the Dragon Knights. Furthermore, you will, will require ass assistance from the Edonian Elder to enter the sea site. Oh, right. And yeah, neither of those problems have any clear solutions. It's awful, awful. G -g guys, something horrible has happened. What's the matter? Y you see, Otago City was engulfed by an ominous fog of tremendous energy just now. What? What? What did you say? What do you mean? Explain. We, we only saw it from far away. But, but we're certain it's not good. And from the look of it, there are monsters heading toward it, too. Y you mean... It sounds as though something unsettling is happening in Otago City. That all. We need to go see what's happening. We might get arrested, but this is too big to ignore. Uh-oh. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta walk ready. there. What is happening in Otago? Is that an early sign of the wind? I don't know. We would just have to go there and find out. This has some of the most awesome songs. We're coming, Aisha. Let's go. I'm past the weak monsters. Oh, it's getting misty. Oh, yeah, it's 
a lot of fouls. Definitely soggy. Black Friday. What in, in the heavens? Black fog. This doesn't feel right. This is more a spiritual miasma than a mere fog. We are protected by the power of the dragons, but anyone else exposed to this will undoubtedly experience adverse effects. That's not good. Okay, that's all I can take. Princess may be in danger. I, I need to go. We shall meet again. Hey, there she goes. She sure is impatient. But it is true that anyone in the city may be in danger. There seems to be monsters here too. Uh, maybe we should take a look around. These people probably need some help. I would most definitely agree. If anyone is outside and was unable to escape, he or she would be in danger for certain. At all. What about Tia and Maya? I totally did not find them. We should split up. Come. You three split up and survey the city. Look for any explanation you can find for this mess. Report back to me if you discover anything important or at all. Got it. Understood. You're wishing my command. Looking for someone from the old town, correct? And we search there. We'll take care of the rest. Alright, good luck. Adult Donkey, please be careful. See you guys later. Tia and Maya could be in danger. We should hurry to old town. I'm right behind you, Donkey. We're in front of you. Yep, in front of you. You're right behind me, Donkey. Let's do it. You guys okay? Yeah, I'm uh, okay. You took refuge in the tavern, but then you come outside to cough. Good thank you. <laughs> Out of over there! What the hell are those things? What are they doing to Maya? Out of, we gotta save her! Okay? Damn, we need to get her indoors, pronto. Ah, uh, there you are. There you are. Y you I thought you had run away. We'll talk later. Right now, we need to get Maya indoors. Right. Take her to the sanctuary. It's more airtight than the other buildings. wrong, Maya? Is there something you want to tell us? She must be looking for Tia. That was probably why she ran out of here before. What? Wait, where's Tia? Not in Old Town, that much I can say. I suspect she's out in the city somewhere. That's not good. Me and Dougie will go search for Tia. Yeah. Maya, it'll be alright. We'll bring Tia back. <laughs> she fell asleep. She must have been really worried about Tia. I suspected the accusations against you two were misplaced. From the very start, you were criminals, I'm sure of you. I need the search for Tia in your capable hands. Alright. Let's go. Let's do it, Dougie. Everybody's sick. I can only assume that she was somewhere near the castle, maybe? Where would she go?
Can we actually buy stuff still here? Yeah. Town is this way. This way. Oh yeah, we can. Hmm. Oops, I don't know. I didn't even do that. And I equipped it to like a crazy person. Damn it. Take that off. Okay. What did I have on? I don't remember. Search. I hope that you're gone. So much, jeez. This is crazy. Um, I took a couple of days. I feel like that's got that coming in handy. Slow on time so we can get a finish around. Dying super badly or something. Hey! Oh, hey guys. How's it look? The harbor is in terrible shape. Some giant monsters from the sea seem to have attacked. A lot of the ships have been sunk already. What? Are you serious? Well, I was able to take care of them, of course, so there's no need for concern. How about you guys? Oh. G guys! Jew, what's the matter? It's horrible. The Dragon Knight's up ahead. They've been slaughtered, butchered like animals. What? What do you mean? A, a really scary looking guy is going on a total killing spree. The palace is full of dead bodies. It's completely drenched in blood. Who, who in the world? We can't just stay here, Adol. Let's go. What about Tia? Who's 
he's doing this? Oh, this is the black cloak person. Damn. Where is that the fountain? Might be the fountain. This is terrible. Who would do this? Obviously someone extremely skilled. We should hurry. This is not amateur work. Check out the dudes. I assume he's coming for Aisha. Oh, he killed the father too. That's good, he's an ass. Dad! I'll kill him. If this is the last thing I do. Oh. You! I should have known. You were in on this with him. What are you talking about? What happened there? Who did this? You made it. You're alive. Sigrun. Sigrun, you alright? I I'm fine. Don't worry about me. You must go to the to Princess Aisha's aid. The man responsible for what you see before you. Is Commander Skyus? What? 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 Oh crap! Oh, and this guy? No, no, he's trying to protect her. I think. Yep. Damn! Look at Skyus. All dark and evil looking. Halt! I will not allow you to go any further. That won't do. My goal was to kill the Prime Minister. But if I also get rid of the Princess, then my work here will be done. Murder scoundrel! Skyus, why are you doing this? You're the Altigian Falcon. You fought bravely against the Romans, sworn enemy of Otago. My enrollment in the Dragon Knights was merely hap happenstance. The, def the defeat of Romans was merely me putting out the spark of an enemy imminent fire before it could fully burn. My loyalty never once lied with the kingdom of, of Otago. Why would I willingly serve the king, the chief of the tribe that persecuted Iska and destroyed the land's balance? Why do you... There must be some sort of force controlling it. A puppet master pulling the strings. Skyus, I will ask you just once. It was you that assassinated his majesty, was it not? What? <laughs> that all the Red's presence was almost too good to be true. It couldn't have worked out better for me. He took on all the suspicions that otherwise would have been on me. No. What you have done is unforgivable. Uh-oh. Oh man, Baldi doesn't stand a chance. I need to get in there. Uh, where they're at? Where they're at? Uh, 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 in the middle. Alright, middle chamber. Let's go. Oh god. Drazen. Impressive, General. You're the first man ever to exchange more than one blow with me. But you chose the wrong opponent. Your power. It's the same power that Adol acquired. No. It's even more. So you noticed. I can't have this getting around, though. You and the princess are not long for this world, dear general. No. Sky, stop right there. I'm not getting out of here. Ah. Well, well. What is it the killer of our beloved king doing here? Have you come to repent? Shut the hell up! You're the one who killed him! It seems you have information that we don't. Why don't you tell us, Falcon? Or shall I call you traitor? Huh. <laughs> you talk big, but you're just an errand boy for the Yiskin Elder. And he's not even the real el Elder. You son of a... I know everything. 
at all, Christian. I even know that you were chosen as the Dragon Warrior, and that you have obtained three Dragon Stones. How the hell do you know that? I don't have to answer you. Uh-oh. Tijin Falcon, Skyus. But maybe I will. If you can endure the fierce swordsmanship of the Tijin Falcon. Damn! Get ready! This is not pretty easy. Holy crap, he takes a lot. Oh, 
Please have the decency to show us your face. You're the one... The one behind it all. The assassination of my father. The outbreak of disease. The mass murder in the palace grounds. I, Aisha Sari Donis of Otago, Otago, hereby command you. Reveal your face and give your name. Very well. I will oblige. It's Tia. T Tia? <laughs> Allow me. She is the true ruler of all, the elders of Iska, guardians of the moon. The great Tia Luna Rem Iskalia. What? The lost elder line of Iska. Wait a minute. Tia, this is some kind of joke, right? I mean, it has to be, right? You've been so kind to me in Adol. Tell me this is a joke. I, the maiden Eldress of Iska, live to serve only the great root of all existence. I am to cleanse this land with the wind of destruction. 
knew, the Tia you know was merely an act. All was for the purpose of returning the land of Otago to its ideal state. My work as a medicine maker who freely traverses the land of Otago was a cover to avert suspicion. The assassination of his majesty, the creation of the miasma, the massacre of the palace, even my friendship with you, it was all an act, merely designed to surely survey, evaluate, and advance my goals. You've got to be kidding me! Then what about that girl? What about Maya? You were so desperate to help her. Are you saying that was all an act too? Human life is but dust in the face of the great moon. All must be engulfed by the wind to make way for the eternal cycle of rebirth. The little girl, you, and even I, it is only a matter of time. At all, Christian, I suggest you leave Otago. You are an outsider. You lie. Us. Outside the fate of Otago. If you stay, then you too will be engulfed by the wind of destruction. Tia! Wait! If you still wish to stop me despite my warning, then acquire the dragon stones, all of them. Without them, your efforts will be in vain. Damn! This can't actually be happening. Is this a practical joke or something? If so, it's not funny! Things are getting a little crazy here. Apparently Tia is actually the eldress following these events. Delegates from every village throughout Otago gathered together to offer Otago City their aid. Among them were Fatima, Mustafa, and Sirius as well. Adel decided to survey the city and speak with its residents and visitors to determine the best course of action. So, pe people of all the cities are all here now. It's crazy, Tia was a freaking evil bastard. I never imagined she was the one behind all this. And she's the last in the line of the Yiskin elders, no less. I thought they were all dead and gone. I can't say I'm not surprised myself. It is our duty as the surviving members of Iska to protect the bones of Otago in the stead of the late elders. That is what I believed and why I stayed hidden for over 200 years, observing the changes that befell Otago. But our elder line actually survived. And now the current elders is trying to summon the wind of destruction. They knew everything as if it were all according to some grand design. They even knew that Adol was in possession of the stones, and it seems as if those stones have some bearing on the right they're attempting to invoke. Sirius, do you have any idea what the connection may be? My apologies, but I do not. It seems the elder family of Iska has great secrets that was passed down from generation to generation. A secret that bellies the fate of all Otago. Perhaps it is something so important that they could not even tell their own people. I have no idea what it could be. Nonetheless, it is clear that the girl and the traitor are planning to bring about destruction. With the Prime Minister and countless weather, others murder. In cold blood, Otago is more in balance than ever. They are serious, and they have no remorse. I personally don't care what they're planning to do. I can't let him get away with making a fool out of me. But I must concede that he's a far better fighter than any I've previously encountered. We must exercise caution. Adol, what will you do from here on out? Hold on, man. Adol's in no condition to... I wasn't asking you. You two need to get it together fast. It would have been better if I were chosen to be the Dragon Warrior. That was Sirius' original plan, if I'm not mistaken. Oh dear, so you knew all along. Well, I must admit, I thought perhaps you were qualified, seeing as how 
You so successfully mastered the Iskin arts, but Adol was chosen before I had a chance to act. <laughs> if you can't step up to the challenge, then I suggest you leave Otago's fate to someone who can. At least that way, you won't get involved in affairs that don't concern you. Just as that girl pointed out, it's the most sensible decision. see this through to the end as best I can. I, I have to find the sea shrine, the sh sea dragon shrine, and get the last stone. Adol. Adol. You really are crazy. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't give up so easily. If that's the case, then we'll help you out however we're able. You can count on us. Adol, thank you. Unfortunately, with no knowledge of the enemy's true motives, there aren't a lot of options available to us. First, we must keep the situation in Otago City from getting any worse. And even though it's exactly what your opponent wants you to do, I suggest you continue as you have been. Yeah, maybe we'll be able to figure out what Tio's really after. What that means, yes, you must visit the Sea and Moon Dragons. As I said before, though, we know virtually nothing about the Moon Dragon at this point short of that it exists, but the sea dragon can be found within its sanctum of Rune Island, if that I'm certain. I see. But we need help from the elder of the tribe that reveres the sea dragon. With his majesty gone, that leaves me. Aisha, are you okay? I'm fine. I can't just sulk around at a time like this. I checked on Sigrun and the General before coming here. Their wounds are deep, but I'm told they aren't fatal, and they're in good hands. Really? Father, I'm so relieved. Lucky break, considering what happened. Serious, right? It's nice to meet you. I'm the Princess of Otago, Aisha Sari Idonis. I'd like to take part in this as the Eldress of Idona, in place of my late father. Pleasure to be of your acquaintance, Your Royal Highness. But are you certain? If the Sovereign of the Kingdom is absent from the capital in such times, it's true that the city is in terrible shape. But this is much more serious than saving just one city. It may be a bit of an odd request, but I'd like to ask that you look after the city in my absence. With the elders of Shinoa, Seagram, and Iska here, I'll have little, worry to, little to worry about. I understand, and I will oblige. Mm, little old me. All right, let's do this thing. If any more monsters show up, my warriors will take care of them. Thank you. I'll be able to rest easy knowing you three are looking after my affairs. Adol, Dogi, I look forward to accompanying you again. There may not be much I can do, but we need to press on. Aisha, damn straight. Let's kick some fate. Fate. Let's kick some feet. Off to Ruins Island with us then, I suppose. Will you be able to get a ship ready with the harbor in shambles as it is? Yes, but the naval and merchant ships are under heavy repairs and won't be available for some time. I could fi only find a small boat like the one we used last time. Yeah, perfect. I've been hoping to host another pleasure cruise. So what are we waiting for? All aboard, the SS Wave Crusher 2 is ready for departure. So we got Aisha. Yeah, everybody else joined. Uh, Aisha is the same level. She's gonna have some better gear, I guess. Uh, let's give her the Hawkeye. And Waspinator. Okay. And we want her in the party. Thank you. Alright. I'm gonna end this here, guys. Let's uh, do it. On the next part, we head to Rune Island to make our way into the sea sanctum. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye!